Yo guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel, King of Technology, and today I'm gonna show you how to play high-spec games in your low-spec PC. So if you want to play high-spec games, but you have a very decent or low-spec PC, I will show some methods, and after applying those methods, you should get a playable frame rate in your games. Let's dive into the PC. <laughs> So the first method is to disable visual effects and animations. You can do that by right clicking on this PC, your properties, click on advanced system settings, click on settings, you have to choose adjust for best performance, but now also you can choose this option, uh, smooth as the screen fonts, and this one, short thumbnails instead of icons. You can apply, actually this will give a shit look of your uh, desktop, but it will also help you to gain FPS in the games. Now let's go to second method. The second method is to delete junk files. So you have to first open random dialog box. You can do that by right clicking on start button, click on run, you have to type percent tmp percent sign. Press enter. And if there are any files, press Ctrl plus A and delete them. Then you have to open a random dialog box and you have to type temp. Now delete the files here. Then open the box and now the type pre fetch. Now need the files here also and if it asks for permission you can continue but if it's denying it so you can cancel. Okay. Then you have to go to this PC call this C Windows scroll down till you find software distribution. Go to that go down folder and if any files delete it. I have to clean on recycle bin also. After that, we will optimize our game for our system. Okay. Don't worry, we will not change the game settings. Okay. So I have to first open your game shortcut or um, the main game application. You can do it by clicking, right clicking on your game shortcut, click on open file location. Now, um, that already selected. You have to right click on it. Your properties. You have to click on compatibility. Now I have to choose this option and this program in compatible mode more. For you have to choose Windows 8. Okay. Now I have to click on high change high DP settings. Now you have to enable this option and click application. Yes, okay. Now I can close it. Click on okay, first click on apply and close it. Now we will enable all cores of our processor. Let's do it. First of all, open your random dollar box. Write MS config a cutting time time to load now it can boot on advanced options now to check this option number of processors now four and I check this option also PCI lock it's so, okay apply and close it okay now we will use some game boosters that can in increase the game FPS okay so I have given all the links in the description and down from that. After downing and installing, you have to open it. First of all, we will open this software, Ragnotech Lost Experience. After opening that, let's click on continue to free version. It's okay. Click on start Lost Experience free. Click on no thanks, continue Lost Experience. Okay. After that, um, you both can open, but close it. Then click on Computation Catalog. From here, you have to choose your game. The mini games here, but if the game you are playing is not here, then I can't do anything. You have to skip this option. Then you have to click on Load Automation Pack. Now you have to select the folder of the game that you have chosen. Okay. That will show you something like this. Thanks for using the experience. Then you have to choose this one. Now, under stock optimization mode, you have to choose your resolution. If you have a um, media spec GPU, I recommend you to play at your standard monitor resolution. But to if you have a really low spec GPU, I recommend you to play on 800x600 resolution. That is first to three. Then click on execute optimization. Now, press OK. 
Let me exit. Yes. After that, I can exit it. Now, just before winning the game, you have to open one software named MZ Game Accelerator. I have also given a link of that in the description. Open it. You have to click on switch to game assassination mode. Actually, the menu proper softwares like Razer Cortex and many more are there. But I choose those because it's fast and also it helps to uh, increase a uh, couple of FPS or 10 FPS also if you have a medium spec GPU. Now it has stopped all our new services for Windows. Now it's reducing the process of users for other applications. Okay, once we have seen this uh, dialog box, acceleration mode enabled successfully. It's okay. Now it will close, and now we going to start the game finally. Okay. And when you are uh, closing your game, make sure to return to normal mode by right clicking on this logo and click on switch to normal mode. Okay. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button. And please hit the subscribe button. One subscribe is a real gift from me. And also, suggest me in comments what you would like to watch next. Goodbye.